fair to say AC Milan didn't really have a fun time in the Champions League this year, finishing bottom of the group. I mean, sometimes maybe she they didn't even secure a third spot that would get them Europa League. That's how bad the European run was. And on the other hand, in the Serie A, although they are fighting with Inter for the title, Inter look like the team that will run away with the title for the second season in a row. Finally, Juventus' dominance has stopped. <laughs> but AC Milan just aren't there yet to, you know, ascend to the top. And I guess that's why we're here to fix AC Milan and make them the best Italian team as well as the best team in the world. They've already got the ingredients for success like players like Kessi, Magnan, Teonandes, Zlatan for the first season or so, Tomori. The squad is there. We just need to, you know, add a few more ingredients and I think we'll have the perfect recipe. Very good. Quick look at the rules of today's AC Milan fixing challenge. We're keeping it simple for this one. The goal is to win that Champions League. We can make any transfers we want. We gotta simulate every single game that we play, but, 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 once we do get to that Champions League final, we play it to win it. I'm super excited for this one guys. Y'all have been asking me to do an AC Milan fixing challenge for so long to try and make them one of the greatest teams in the world once again and we're here to do that. If you are excited for this week's fixing challenge, drop a like in the video. It only takes a second to like the video. Subscribe if you're new around here and let's begin. Before we get into the challenge, today's video is sponsored by OneFootball, which in my opinion is the best football news app out there. And to celebrate the new year, they are giving you guys a chance to enter a giveaway where the prize is 1 million FIFA points. That's right, new year, new team. It's time to give your ultimate team a bit of a boost. So 1 million FIFA points up for grabs. Here's how you can enter the giveaway. It's actually pretty simple to enter the giveaway. All you gotta do first is click the link in the description, then you gotta click another link and download the one football app and also this is very important because the headline that you see the first headline you got to copy that and paste it into the form that shows up when you click the link in the description and then there are a few more interesting questions like what platform do you play fifa on your full name your details because they got to contact you if you do end up winning and apart from that there's a pretty cool question list three upgrades you'd make in your current team for example in my team i would replace my keeper aitor i don't know why i've got him to maybe de Gea about Courtois or something. So just list those three upgrades. That's it. That's all you got to do to enter the giveaway and you'll stand a chance of winning your share of a million FIFA points. So yeah, big ups one football for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their app. Link in the description to their giveaway. All right, guys, season one begins with AC Milan. Already this team is so, so decent. Like, look at this. Mike Mignan in goal. He's going to be our keeper for the rest of the challenge and he's super high rated. He's only going to keep getting better. Shared at the back. By the way, this guy was was nominated in the top 30 for the Ballon d'Or. How crazy is that? Probably because of Denmark's great run, but good overall. Romagnoli is probably the player I want to have starting because he can really grow in his overall. Tomori as well. Calabria is decent. Theonandes is goated. Let's just put it that way. Kessie in midfield. Benacer alongside him. The likes of Tonali on the bench. This guy, Sailmakers. I'm not sure how you say his name, but he's pretty young. Brahim Diaz is a baller. You've got Ibrahimovic up top. We'll need to change that soon. Rebel on the left, players like Leao on the on the bench as well. This, this team is decent, guys. AC Milan looked decent this year. And with a few signings, I reckon in the first season, we can be up there in the Serie A fighting for the title. But of course, we don't have the privileges that the Premier League gets with TV money. So we're working with about 37 million for the first season. This is going to be a challenge, I feel, with Milan because there's a lot of improvements we need to make. We need to sort out the striker position. Raheem is on loan. We need to make that permanent. Maybe a right winger is needed then need to sort out probably the right back position too there's a lot of improvements we can make let's get to it first of all guys brahim diaz on loan he is 21 we gotta make this a permanent deal guys and now is the best time to sign him otherwise he's gonna get expensive oh wait it's a two-year loan deal we have him for two years okay that's that's interesting maybe it makes sense to spend the money on him later down the line i'm gonna do that guys why are you wondering tell me what why? Well, we should have more money from Champions League and all in the future seasons. Maybe it makes sense to do that. For now, we'll just chuck a development plan on him and watch him grow in his overall ridiculously well. That's the plan. I think it's pretty simple where most of our cash needs to go in the first season. It's a striker. We need someone to be there when Ibrahimovic is done. Ibra will give us like one good season, not transfer list him. Why do I want to do that? I need to put a development plan on him to, you know, retain that overall as much as possible. We'll probably do complete 
striker. I want to keep that shooting and all as high up as possible. But Giroud, not too keen. I'm going to transplist him and we're probably going to find a young striker who will be ready to take the reins as soon as Ibra retires. That is the play I feel. Thinking about it though, we could just convert Rafael Leao to a striker. We could do that, guys. We really could do that. How long would it even take to make him a striker? Maybe 34 weeks. I don't want to wait that long. We'll just keep him in that left wing role. I think I'm pretty certain who I want to sign. It's Dusan Vlahovic. The real question is, can we generate enough cash to make this happen? This guy is lighting the Serie A on fire. Bringing him from Fiorentina to Milan would be the dream. And he'd take that spot from Ibra very, very soon. I want to make this happen. We'll have to be a bit patient though. Need to generate the cash for this. Guys, we've been working on selling a few players I don't care about like Conti, Pizzari and Krunic. I reckon that should bring us really close to affording Vlahovic. Yep, we've got 45 million, a big wage budget. It should be possible now, I reckon. All right, here we go. Trying to sign Vlahovic, who could be our striker for the rest of this save and take the, you know, next step after Slatan Ibrahimovic. How much is he going to cost us? First thing I want to try is maybe sneaking in Olivier Giroud in the deal. That would be the dream for us. And we'll chuck in about 20, 24 million, 25. Let's do 25 million plus Olivier Giroud just to see if they're interested in him. They are. That's brilliant. We're getting this price down massively with that. We're going to reduce this to about, let's say, 32 million. 32 million plus Giroud for Vlahovic seems like a steal for us. They're not going to let him go so easily, guys. We will still negotiate. 35 million is going to be my next offer, plus Giroud as well. And that works. Th this is actually a brilliant bit of business. How good is this, guys? Vlahovic has been signed by AC Milan. The future. The next big thing after Zlatan plays for us? I think so. I really think so. You look at his stats. And oh boy, are they insane. He's got 86 finishing already. And with development plans, of course, we're going to put a plan that'll get his pace up as quickly as possible. I reckon he's going to be just OP for us. The Youth Academy, guys, has brought us an absolute baller in Daniel Conti. Center forward. We're going to release the other two guys because they're awful. This kid looks like the real deal. Stats are looking absolutely incredible. I reckon if we convert him to a cam, he'd be even more insane. And he could already become backup to maybe Brahim Diaz. That seems rather smart. Let's do that. We can now make Daniel Conti a cam. And he goes up to a 76 overall already yo we put him in the first team this season and i reckon he's gonna ball out for us that's mad let's promote him to the first team daniel conti that's one of the highest rated players i've got from the academy boys like honestly i'm straight away putting him on the bench no need to sim or you know loan him out or anything he's gonna be a baller from literally day one True. Ooh, we got some extra money from like the season ticket sales and everything. Maybe we can use that cash and complete the signing of Brahim Diaz on a permanent deal. That's something I've been wanting to do anyways. Let's see, approach to buy. Oh, he might be a bit more expensive now that he's 79 rated. Oh, he's worth like 35 million. We're going to try and get him for a little cheap. 30 million is going to be my first offer. They're asking for 48. We can't even afford that. Oh boy, we're going to have to counter with 35 milli. Let's see, 35 million is my counter offer they want 40 48 million we can't afford that boys we can't we're gonna go to up to 38 million for him 41 that is more in the affordable range we got to bring it down to let's say 39 million for brahim diaz and that works we might be able to complete his signing too right now we'll of course get that contract negotiations done we'd have completed a couple of really smart signings then ah oh, come on brahim diaz wants 70,000 to join us we'll have to negotiate this again maybe we'll do it later on guys maybe in January or something. For now, we'll leave it as is. We don't have to rush anyways. With that transfer window practically done, this is the squad we're going to be working with. I think it's time we just use Vlahovic as our first choice striker. I think that's the play. It's a strong squad that we've got here. A lot of players are going to grow very quickly in this side. There's depth as well. First season, let's see how we fare in the Champions League and in the Serie A. I reckon we've got a good enough side to potentially win the league. In January right now, and AC Milan are top of the league. Didn't expect this, guys. Absolutely didn't. Juventus are right there, breathing down our necks. 36 points for them, but that's a surprise. We've lost just one game. I guess the way that we've built our team, the job's been done pretty well. Vlahovic, I guess, has been big for us. Let's go. Unfortunately, though, we couldn't make it out of our Champions League group alive, and I'm not surprised. 
surprised. Liverpool and Atleti in the same group, which is never easy, but at least we've done better than in real life. Europa League is where we'll be headed next, and let's hope we can win that at least. I guess my approach for January is now a bit different. We'll keep the Brahim Diaz transfer for next season because I reckon we've got a job to do. First of all, Shed has held his overall, so we'll put him in the starting 11. Um, Bakayoko and Florenzi have both left and joined their respective parent clubs because, well, um, lack of game time. So we need to probably sign like a backup CDM and also maybe like a backup fullback or something because that's where we are lacking right now a little bit. So that's what we're going to do with the 36 odd million we've got. Let's get to work. Diogo Dalot is 78 rated and we could get him for an absolute bargain. I'm just going to pay his release clause or maybe let's negotiate and see what happens because we might get him for a steal. Because his release clause is just 23 million and he's worth about 19. Let's offer 18 million and see what Man United say. Yup, we can get him for 19.3 million. Now that's a bargain. That's a really good signing. I feel he can play as a right back, left back, offers us quality squad depth. Okay, I'm going to keep it at that for signing. Squad depth is now quite a bit like sorted with Dalot coming in. And that's going to be our team from now on until the end of the season. I think it's more than capable of getting the job done. Let's hope we can finish the season strong with the Serie A and possibly even the Europa League. So let's get it. We've made the cup final. It's, of course, a Milan derby. Inter versus A. Oh boy, San Siro as well for the cup final. Chance to win our first trophy already. Look at the overalls in our team. Vlahovic, 85. He's grown massively. What a transfer. That spin. And there you go. We end up winning. Kessi, the one to score. AC Milan have won their first trophy already. Best way to do it, beating Inter. And would you look at that? We won the league by a landslide. Juventus not even finishing in a Champions League spot. Inter nowhere to be seen. What happened this season in the Serie A? We'll take it. This is probably the best I've done in the first season of any of my fixing challenges in a long time. Winning Serie A like that. Wow, didn't expect it at all. 87 points. Unreal. What did we do though in the Europa League? We drew Monaco and what? We got knocked out in the preliminary round. I guess that's why we won Serie A with such a big margin. We just focused everything there. Well, so I guess the first season ends with the Serie A and the Italian Cup. I'll take it guys. With a few signings next season, we're already Italian champions. We can become European champions too. Vlahovic was the star of this team. Going up by five ratings. Yo, this guy is unreal. What a player. 23 goals this season. Rebic did really well, but he did really grow in his overall, which is a bummer. Kessi did really well from CDM. Brahim Diaz, we gotta make this signing permanent soon. Zlatan, not too bad. I'm gonna probably use him as a backup striker again if he's still gonna be there. Castilejo, um, with a good contribution to Benacer did well. This this kid needs to step up. Salesmaker. Yeah, he needs to step up. Tonali did okay. Teonandes grew massively. Rafael Leao, he needs to grow a bit faster. The will will yeah that needs to happen share retained his overall this conti kid went up by 6-2 from the academy yo a lot of growth everywhere oh unfortunately no ibrahimovic next season his contract can't be renewed i think he is retiring Season 2 begins and we're coming into this as champions of Italy. I really think a couple of good signings and we can win the Champions League. The question is, can we pull that off? I'm liking the look of the squad we've got. Love the defense. Probably a replacement for Shared is on the cards soon. Elsewhere, we need to make Brahim Diaz a permanent deal. Maybe a backup striker, maybe a right winger, but even that. Sailmaker will start growing soon. Calabria is still decent. Leao will also grow. The team is coming together really, really well. 130 million to spend. First thing I think I want to do is just make that Brahim Diaz deal permanent before just, yeah, we, we just got to do it and make it a permanent deal. And now he's worth 56 million. Oh my god. Huh. <sighs> Should have signed him in that first season, boys. Should have signed him in that first season. Nope, I do not want to give them Benacer. We're going to counter with 60 million. That's going to be my offer for Brahim Diaz. They want so much money. If only we signed him earlier. If only we signed him earlier, we'd have saved uh, a ton of money. But that's how it is. That is how life is. 80 million is going to be my offer. That's what it takes to sign Brahim Diaz. We have signed Brahim Diaz now on a permanent deal, so that's sorted. 
Guys, an offer coming in from Manchester City for Romagnoli. That's got me interested, guys, because if we can sell Romagnoli for a good amount, I'm going to delegate the offer and see how much I can get for him. That's the kind of money we can use to bring in a world-class centre-back as well. Let's see. In the midst of all the transfers, we've got a game in the Italian Super Cup against Inter. We're going to sim it and hopefully come away with a win. Yes, we do. It's Brahim Diaz, now a permanent Milan player, getting the job done. Just made my second signing of the window, it's Raspadori. Well, why have I signed him? For backup. Ibrahimovic is gone. I need a backup striker as well for Vlahovic. And Raspadori is the perfect man. I am going to switch around their kit numbers, that's for sure. I think Vlahovic deserves to wear number 9. And we'll give Raspadori, let's say, number 17 if that's vacant. It isn't. Maybe number 20 then. Ooh, we're going to get 42.7 million for Romagnoli. That seems decent. Hopefully this goes through. That's a lot of money we can use to bring in another centre-back. And it has gone through. We're going to have a ton of cash to make that centre-back signing. A hundred million? What? Let's go. All we need to do is sign a world-class centre-back and I reckon this team is ready to win titles. Why don't we reunite Lucas Hernandez and Theo Hernandez, the two brothers, playing for the same club? That sounds brilliant. How much is he worth? 55 million. That release clause. Wow, it seems like a good deal. Can we try and get him for a little bit cheaper than that? Let's see. I reckon we could get him for like 68 million. 68 should work. There you go. 68 million for Lucas Hernandez. There you have it, guys. Lucas Hernandez has been signed. Our defense is looking crazy good. There you go. That's what our team's going to look like for the rest of the season. The only weaknesses I see is maybe Leao and Sailmakers overall. I'm really hoping they can just fly through their overall throughout the course of the season through player development and all that. But the first team's looking amazing. I reckon we've got a shot of the Champions League simply because of how good Vlahovic is. We'll need a bit of luck. We can't have a ridiculous group like last season. But Serie A should be in the bag again. Let's go through this season and see what we can achieve. We've just built a machine in the Serie A unbeaten. We're cruising to another title in the league. I mean, this has been probably the easiest challenge to have won the league because we barely made any signings in the first season. It was just Vlahovic and we ended up cruising the league. We're going to do it again now. That's mad. And this time in the Champions League, we give Liverpool a tough fight that again in our group, but we managed to get out of it. In the round of 16 though, it's Manchester City we're facing. I don't have much hopes for this. I feel like we'll need another season before becoming a Champions League winning side. So let's keep the grind. Although we do have a bit of cash to spend. I don't want to do it, guys. I'm happy with the team right now. We're going to just run with this. But I think I already know next season where improvements need to be made. Right winger, left winger, and probably right back. That's th Those are the spots we need to improve. I think we'll need outrageous luck to get through Manchester City. Let's see if we have that. We'll find out in the first leg itself. A one-all draw. You know what? Second leg, let's see. Honestly, it'd be such an upset if we managed to get the better of Man City. But if we do it, oh boy. Oh boy. And we've actually done it. Nah, 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 nah. This team is nuts. This might be the smoothest running fixing challenge we've had ever. Like Vlahovic, Brahim, Kessi all getting it done. 4-2, we've knocked out City now. We, we've basically knocked out one of the favorites. I think we can win this. Okay, we might need to just calm down because it's Liverpool up next. First leg against Liverpool. Get me a draw or something. We've got a chance at home then. Instead, we beat them 2-0. Brahim, the dream, Diaz. We're going to add him with the dream, like Karim Adeyemi and Benzema and all. Let's go. That's a big result in Anfield. This team, it just clicks. 2-0 up from the first leg. We're playing at home. Let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. We almost did. We almost threw it all away. But on penalties, we go through. Vlahovic missed. For them though, Valverde, Thiago and Fermino missed. We somehow get through. Wow. Next up is Borussia Dortmund. That's okay. Yo, we could be getting to the final in like two seasons with Milan. That's insane. Let's do this against Dortmund, boys. If we can knock out City and Liverpool, surely we can do it against Borussia Dortmund. And we get the result in the first leg of Vlahovic hat-trick. This episode's been all about him. Time for the second leg against Dortmund. A few players not fully fit, but we have the advantage. We make it count through to the final. Look at that. It's Chelsea in the final. So two teams you'd normally not expect here. AC Milan and Chelsea in the Champions League final. That's new. I kind of like it, guys. A bit fresh to the fixing series. Usually it's Barcelona, Bayern Munich and all, but Chelsea versus Milan sounds fun. Before that, we've got a cup final. Let's go add another trophy on board, man. Come on, let's beat Inter again. There you go. We've done it. Easy business. Look at the Serie A. We've absolutely dominated just losing that one game. I don't even know where that was. 20 points. 
This Milan side, man. We made just a couple of changes here and there, and look at them. They're the best team in Italy and could be the best team in the world soon. Coppa Italia, we managed to win that too. It's all about that Champions League now. Vlahovic, it's all about him. What a season from him. What are his stats looking like? Good lord, 95 sprint speed. Oh my god, is he an absolute unit. 87 finishing too. He's going to be fun to use. He's up to an 89 overall. Oh boy. Brahim Diaz had a solid season. Glad we signed him. Rebic has been unreal. I guess I'm going to start him over Rafael Leao. Kessie was solid. Sailmakers did pretty well. Benacer is there. Raspadori did okay. Tonali with a decent season. Up by four. I think I'm going to start him over Benacer now. Yo, a lot of growth everywhere. Theo Hernandez, 90 rated. Anyways, guys, it's now time for the big one. Champions League final. AC Milan versus Chelsea. Let's go. Actually, guys, now that I think about it, the extra pace Rafael Leao gives us and the weak foot. Oh, but, oh, it's a tough one. You know what? I'll stick with Leao. Do we play Sailmakers in there in right wing? Do we start someone else? Now we'll play him. We'll play him. He's got a plus five on him. Certainly, Tonali is going to start. Kessie too. That's the back line sorted. That's the defense sorted as well. Is Dalot better than him? It's a bit faster. I'm not going to lie. You know what? Dalot seems like the better player. We're going to go with Dalot in there. Magnan and goal. That's going to be the team for the Champions League final. Can we go with our home kit? Like, please? That'll be so much better. Yeah, there you go. The AC Milan home kit. We're up against Chelsea in a Champions League final. We're playing in Parc des Princes. Let's end this. Here we go. Champions League final has kicked off against Chelsea. Let's do this. Oh, we're sending Vlahov through already and look at the pace he's got he's so quick oh my god the post denies him the pace is insane on him that much i'll tell you for someone who's like 6'3 he feels like a rocket they've got lukaku and werner playing together that that does sound a bit scary dalot does very well tonali now ah oh, come on oh that was actually a decent pass and dalot is quick i guess sailmakers what a name he's got could look for that pass. Ah, oh, that, that was good defending from Rudiger. They're playing a five at the back, by the way, so got to be careful. And look at that. That's the five at the back coming into play. You know, the wingbacks being able to play the ball to the wingers like that. Dembele, they've signed Dembele. That's a smart signing with Chelsea, I guess, if they can keep him fit. Again, he's on the ball right now. Gets past me. Romelu Lukaku going for goal above the crossbar. That was a warning. Ah, oh, Timo Werner burst through. Problems here for us. Kessie there. Well, Kessie, you can't be doing that, giving it away, but Tomori is also a rock at the back. Smart play, and we get it away easily too. Got to make use of that pace that Theo Hernandez possesses. Going to play this one for Kessie. What can Kessie do in this instance? Smart ball for Vlahovic, who's dropped deep to find Brahim Diaz. Now Vlahovic again. That was the worst back he'll ever. We've got to do better. One thing in these fixing challenges, guys, is the fact that if... We get to the Champions League in the early seasons. It's going to be harder for us to win the final because our players aren't like maxed out and super high rated. So actually, it, it's kind of funny. It gets more challenging the faster you get to a Champions League final. But yeah, we still have the squad, I think, to win this. Werner. That was a rocky challenge, but Kessie is there to collect. Ooh, space opening up here for Sailmakers. I don't know if I'm saying his name wrong or right because he's got a very funny name as that was... One aggressive challenge. Kessie is a strong man. Looks for Rafael Leao. That's a very interesting ball, but uh, Vlahovic couldn't do much with it. Half time, and I'm not surprised the game is at a nil-nil scoreline. Chelsea are so defensive when they find themselves in games like this. Anyway, second half, let's do it. Not gonna lie, this Sailmakers guy is pretty average. I'm just gonna bring on Rebic for him. That should help us out massively. Looks for that pass for Vlahovic. Rebic again. Looking for that pass. Oh, we can't get there. Oh, we managed to fight it off him. We still have it now, but we're just going to have to go backwards. So, point is gone from that attack. We still have it, though. We still have it. Kessie, out wide here. Could go for a cross at the far post. It's looking decent. We might still have something to do here. Falls for Kessie. He's got a good shot on him, but no space. Vlahovic, smartly done to find Rebic. Can he keep it in? Just about. Looks for that cross back, and it's decent. Nobody winning the header. At Forts for Tonali. First time shot. Shoots again. Forts for Vlahovic. No way. Mendy, what a reflex save that was. Still might be able to do something. A Rebic looking for that cross. Kante winning the header over Vlahovic. That was an interesting run of play. Why are Chelsea so annoying to play? They've literally given me no space, man. Oh, they just themselves don't want to attack. And they just don't let others attack too. Like, fair enough, I guess. But it's just annoying because... 
I don't know how to break them down. Like, look at this. They're just so well trained to defend. It's so annoying. Oh, Romelu Lukaku. I'm sure being a former Inter player, he'd love to, you know, ruin our party. But, yeah, can't let that happen. This might be the chance. A bit of space here for Rebic. And I see Rafael Leo at the far post. This might actually work. What a header from Rafael Leo. These kind of crosses normally never work. But Rafael Leo has the height. Leaping header from him. Unbelievable. What a way to potentially win the Champions League. Unreal scenes as we take the lead in the Champions League final. Wow. What a cross. And what a jump from Rafael Leo. And what a header to beat Mendy. Oh my goodness. Rafael Leao is the man. I'm glad we brought on Rebic. That cross was a peach. And then Rafael Leao with, with the header. Ten minutes to go. We're in the driver's seat now. It really took something like that to, you know, give us the lead. Because against this defensive Chelsea side, you just don't know what else works. We've got a chance. Vlahovic just letting one fly. That was going nowhere. Here we go now with Rebic. And he looks quick once again. But, ah, oh, took that one outside. But it's done. We've won the Champions League with AC Milan. And I can't believe we've wrapped up the challenge in just a couple of seasons. It's incredible. This team was just unreal. Like, I don't think we lost a single trophy apart from the Europa League in the first season. We won Serie A. We won the Cup in the first season. We did that again in the second season. And we added the Champions League. It was a bit of a dead final, I'm not going to lie. But still, got the job done in style. And I guess enjoy the trophy celebrations, boys, as we wrap up today's fixing challenge. We fixed the AC Milan. You guys have asked for it. I've delivered. Drop a like in the video if you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments which team we should be fixing next. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.